Unfortunately, this video will have the episode footage fading in and out to avoid block claims as Hasbro have not yet removed the content ban on Cracked It as of this video now being uploaded. I'm very sorry. Well, another new day and- Bonnie! Well, how many times have I told you to not sleep on me? And what? How many more eggs have you laid? Seriously, have you multiplied? Grown in numbers we potentially have done. Sorry, Frolin, but this mess can't be undone. Ah, oh, come on, fellas. I told you so many times this week. You can't be sleeping on me and laying all these eggs. Oh, I really need to find their father. This is getting too much for me to bear. Now I know how much Eggman feels. Well, anyway, Fluffbutts, guess what time it is. It's time for an Easter special reaction. Woo! Flopbots, it's me, Follow my Boy and Cortez Cult, and welcome back to the Tell Your Tale Season 2 Reactions. What is going on with the table now? It has literally been flooded with bonbons. What am I going to do with you guys? Seriously, where are their parents? Nevertheless, it's time for an Easter special reaction, and we're going to be getting into episode 9, which is called Cracked It by Ryan Denham. I love my king so much, and hopefully this episode will be a delight. I can only presume that this episode will be another Easter-centric episode and there will hopefully be a lot of more buns and eggs and yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. Mousy, you are lucky that I'm not going to harm him with another chocolate bunny. So instead, I've got this new companion with me. Look at this green kitty blushy. Oh, but look at them. They look so cute and soft and squishy and adorable and... I don't even have a name for them yet. How about you, Fluffpots, decide a name for them on the comments below? I'll pick the name comment that has the most likes, okay? And now, it's time for their punishment. I'm so sorry. How is Easter going to get cracked? Let's see. Morning, ponies. Hey, morning, Sunny. Hey, she's giving out smoothies. Ah, oh, that's my girl. Whoa, that's a bit risky, jumping across balconies. Ah, oh, the Earth Pony magic. Hey, flower bands! Ah, oh, love the flower crowns. Seems that this is going to be sunny centered. Oh, it just warning. What? Oh my god, look out! God, that is a gigantic egg if I ever knew saw one. Ah, look at Sparky with the splatters over his face. So cute! Look at the size of that egg. Nothing to see. It's out in the open. Yeah, you got a point there, Rufus. Yeah, but it is massive. Old? Oh, like an antique. Like from something from the past? No, it doesn't need any more beauty than it does. It already looks fabulous. Uh, it should... Yeah, just give it some glitter. Sparkle it up. Ah, oh, Zip, like, getting all the squishes off of her face. Oh, she's got that book from the, from the room. Oh, like a phoenix? It's... Oh, oh, yes, he's back! Oh my god, yeah, fuck off! Oh, Eggman, I've missed you so much. Oh god, uh, take your kids back, please. So, what can Eggman do with this? Oh yeah, that's true. Sparky K did came from an egg. Go ahead, show it the love. Give it like a nest or something. Ah. That Earth Pony magic must be so potent. Ah, with a little blankie. I need that blanket as a piece of merch. So I guess they're gonna like fabulize this whole egg up so it will hatch. The, the goofy version of yourself. You're looking into a mirror there. Wait, wait. Who Kitty Bug was on it? They have to push like certain buttons on it. Oh, it has all their- yeah! What does this mean? Was this egg, like, destined for them? Oh, something- Oh, it's a roller thing! Oh, it's a puzzle! Yeah, you gotta ignite the spark in you to make it, like, hatch! 
Oh, it's a dead one on top. This is like one big puzzle box. I love it. Oh, he's already made a crack. Go on, Pip. Yeah, the, yeah, it was you that was missing. Maybe hatch it with your voice, like, Oh, la, la please come out! Oh, I love that wing animation there. Oh, that was sick! So what happens when they crack the case? Oh, they cracked it. Give it a smash, Sonny! Like, collide into it! It's... it's me! Yeah, of course it's you! Oh, does she have to put her hoof on it? Oh, I would have loved to see her smash into it. Right, now they've cracked it, have they? Oh, what's going to erupt from it? The Firehawk? The visuals are really cool, I'll give it that too. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that creature! It's like a goose phoenix! And it's- and it, oh, it's the spirit of Easter, is it? it wait, no, it's not in danger, Posey! You're freaking out! It's just here to celebrate! Give everyone chocolate eggs! Oh, I wish this- I wish this replaced the Easter Bunny. <laughs> kind of like Santa Claus in a way, spreading joy to everyone. Oh, this episode was so adorable. Nothing too serious and, like, story eccentric. Sparky, I think you're gonna have too many eggs at that point. Wait, that was Eggman's gift? It was a tricky puzzle, but we got it. How does Eggman know about it? What did I say about chewing <laughs> Yeah, just get your mouth off that little bun bun. Oh, I, I really feel bad for him with all of his children. <laughs> that was a good pun there, Sonny. Oh, yeah, oh my god. What the hell even was this episode? The puns, the visuals, the, the puzzle box antics. Oh, this episode was just a ton of fun, Flopbots. Cracked it! I really liked this episode, Flopbots. Obviously, it's not deep in, like, the such the lore as the other previous episode have been. But this was just, like, another slice of life episode that really pays off for all of our characters and just brings them together and embrace with such love and hope. Whenever they come together to try and solve the case, they know that they'll get it done in no time. I loved the Easter antics that went down in this episode and the fact that it was made the main theme of the episode with that gigantic egg and the main six just working together to try and, like, crack it open just to see what will happen. Oh, I really liked that. It was fun, it was colourful, and the fact that Egmont Bunny gets brought back into the episode, yes, I loved his inclusion! Even though he wasn't really in the episode for that long, he was just like a kind of like a red herring to like, maybe he can help, but it turns out that he was the one that sent the gift to them. Like, ooh, that was intriguing. It's revealed that Egmont knew about this massive egg, and he had planned for the main six to try and open it, so I suppose it was like a gift of some sort to like spread the Easter magic and yeah, it's all magic, you need to be happy, it's Easter, so liven up everyone, just have a good treat. Nothing too serious and no one was in any real danger. Well, apart from Posey thinking that, ah, the Firehawk is going to burn down everything, run away! Like, that was hilarious too. I believe that we don't really need to think too deeply into this concept because I fear that people may overthink this like, oh my god, is Eggman from like the past or something? Like, nah, this this was just a fun beast piece of magic to indulge in. I really loved the design of that creature that came out of it. It was like a combination of like a swan and a goose and it was like the new mythical creature of Easter, like the Easter swan. The only question that remains is, where on earth did it go? Did, does it have a family? Is it like a newborn? <laughs> See, I'm laying it on thick right now, but I don't care because this episode was just a lot of fun. Seeing each of the main six just displaying their usual characteristics and joyful personalities in a colourful way was delightful to watch because Sunny at the start with her sharing a lot of joy to everyone with her smoothies before crashing into the giant egg and immediately trying to solve it and her puns in this episode were they were so stupid but they were silly and I loved them nonetheless. Hitch instantly thinking that in order to hatch the egg he needs to give it a little bit of warmth and love like just exactly what he did with Sparky's egg when he cared for it in the first Make Your Mark special. Oh I, lo I love that piece of of remembrance about the first special. Misty also having that ominous book from the new room that she found and she took stuff out of that room and oh, imagine when the main six like finally catch on to Misty, like maybe keeping secrets from them and they would discover that new
new room eventually. I hope that's what happens. But wow, she was brave to bring that book out of there. Izzy showing her craftsmanship and unicycling the egg up a little bit by showing it a little bit of vibrancy and more glitter. That was cool. And Pip also wanting to style it up a little bit with her makeovers and such. Ah, oh, the teamwork like attitudes that went on in this episode were great. I don't know what else to really say about this episode, Bloodbuds, because I think this one was just like another slice of life throwaway episode that people can just come back and watch every once in a while if they needed like a big smile or just something to relax to because I think this episode was the best one yet. Not the best of the season, but one of the best episodes that has the most rewatch value because it's just so relaxing, yeah. I, I, I can easily chill throughout this episode if I wanted. Ryan Denham, you still continue to impress me with your scripts and this episode was no different. It's like you are like two sides of the same coin. Like on one side you are so lore heavy and you're cooking so much with your writing. But then you have these kinds of episodes that yeah, I'll still cook fire with the writing if I wanted to. Even if it's something like chillaxing and something you can easily rewatch on the fly. Oh, I love you so much my king. Where am I going to rank this episode Flopbutts? I think it's probably going to be somewhere in the middle or somewhere kind of high if I'm honest because I just really enjoyed this episode so much. I don't know what about it, but I just have this feeling that yeah, there's something about this episode that I just adore so much. Probably because of the reintroduction of Eggman Bunny. Who knows? Yeah, you will see for yourselves right away with my Tell Your Tales Season 2 episode rankings here. Colourful, vibrant, the characters were on point, the story was adorable, and... <laughs> I don't know what else to say, my brain is mush, so yeah, I just really love this episode. Simple as that. I can only hope that one day Eggman Bunny makes another return, and properly, because I still think his best appearance was in The Hunt for Eggman Bunny, because that had Stormblazer and him introduction, oh, that was just so beautiful. And this episode, it may have been a bit of a downgrade, but I still loved it nonetheless. Cracked it. You definitely cracked up my Easter and livened it up a little bit more for the better. And now... Please, Egmont, grab your children. Get them off the table. They are not allowed on here anymore. Get off. So, Flopbots, don't forget to hush smash that like button down below and comment your thoughts on what you thought of Cracked It and subscribe to my channel for more reactions and many more content coming soon. And also, don't forget to leave a pledge on my Patreon page down in the description below so you can help support me in making these fantastic videos more consistently. And I shall see you all very soon. Goodbye. Okay, Fluffbutts, just before this video ends, I have a bit of an issue because these are all the eggs and bun buns that managed to make it into my house. There's four of each eggs and four of each bun buns. So the eggs are all clear because there's all four and there is one brown bunny missing. I don't know where he is in my room. I think he's trying to stay. We shall have to find out next week if the lone bun bun manages to pop up. So I will find him. And finally, I want to give a massive thank you to all of my Fluffbutt patrons on my Patreon. My silver patrons, Louise Wade, Alex Smith, and Chad. And my gold patrons, Drew Lazinski, Clear Heart Apple, Owen Wildish, Jonathan Chapper, Darth Siler 12, Kiki Bat VA, Kitty Guardian, and the Peyton Growerful Trisky. All of your love and support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.